We just came to Bournemouth Gardens. I got these flowers on. Hi. <laughs> How is your pizza? Like a castle. It's like a fairy tale. Don't come here. <laughs> Finally, it's beautiful and sunny day in Bournemouth. It should be about 20 degrees today. So it's the warmest day of the year today. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So it's going to be like a couple day vlog. I thought I'm going to show you around Bournemouth since the weather now got really nice. I just don't feel 100% myself because I have been ill for the last couple days and I am still a little bit sick. I think I got like a cold or something. So yeah, I don't have a lot of energy, but I got ready anyways. And me and my boyfriend, we're gonna go to town center and around the beach. So we just came to Bournemouth Centre, it's about 25 minute walk from where we live to town centre But today I just wasn't feeling like walking so we just took a bus Now we're gonna go to Boots because I need to get some medicine We just came to Bournemouth Gardens and here is very beautiful flowers And there is lots of paths to walk around Now we're gonna go to Cafe Nero and we have one pound coffee. You can choose any coffee. So you have to have this three app and you can get any coffee for one pound. So basically you have to have three SIM card to get this deal. I got large pistachio latte with oat milk. I forgot to tell you, it's one coffee per week for one pound. Now we came to Bournemouth Beach and this is outfit of the day. This Bournemouth Beach is seven miles long. It goes two sides. So you can go to Sandbanks or to Hexbury Head. Yeah, it's very long and it's all sandy. So it's very, very nice beach. Wow, the sea now is really low. Water used to be up to there. And now it's very far away. It looks a little bit weird. Two, seven, yes? I lost how many? Six. Why are you filming my faces from so close? I think it's seven. Someone was building these seashell castles or something. My cars are not really good. I feel like I'm crying because it's so bright. Oh, you're crying because you're sick. I hate being sick. <coughs> it's not like your choice. 
now we are going home this zigzag is very steep the more you go up the steeper it gets especially at the end and here <coughs> and here is the steepest part just going more up and up and there is the stairs at the end got tired <laughs> This is our local medical clinic. This tree looks nice. It's not many uh, trees like this left, like a cherry blossom trees because they all gone green already, but this one is still blossoming. I got these flowers on the tree, so I'm going to bring it home and put in the water. What else did I say? <laughs> Just that. So we're coming back home the shortest way. It's about 15 20 minutes walk from the sea i just placed these flowers in this vase <laughs> can't believe just got these flowers literally for free looks very cute good morning guys it's the next day like i said this is going to be like a couple days vlog i'm going to vlog tomorrow as well since the weather got really nice and it finally feels like spring i thought i'm going to show you a little bit around Bournemouth. of course i'm not gonna be able to show like everything but at least a couple of places so i live in Bournemouth since 2018 and i moved away for like a year and i came back i absolutely love living here i feel like it has everything like it has the beach life it has city life the town is not too big, but it's not too small. Like I said, I just feel like it literally has everything. It has universities, it has colleges, it has lots of shops. Of course, it's not the same as London. Like it doesn't have lots of shops, but I feel like it has what you need. Then it has some nature, like you can drive um, about half an hour or so to New Forest where you can see wild horses and it has pick your own farm. It's about like 15 minutes drive from Bournemouth. It's a very nice farm. You can pick some strawberries, apples, berries, pumpkins. It's very nice village over there. Also, it's very close to Christchurch town, which is very like historical town. It has like a big... A castle not a castle i think it's like a church and it's like a very small nice town with lots of boats also it has a pool quite close as well it's just like 10 minutes drive from Bournemouth. it's kind of like connected so from there you can take some boat trips and go to swanage it's like another small town it's a very very beautiful boat trip and yeah there is like lots of shops as well in pool. Bournemouth has lots of gardens as I showed you yesterday. It has Bournemouth gardens which are very very big. It's like a huge park you can walk around. Also it has um, lower gardens which leads to the beach. So yeah like lots of parks and gardens. And in Bournemouth lower gardens in December we do ice skating. I think actually it starts from end of November. So it's called Christmas Tree Wonderland and it's very very beautiful. It's like a huge ice skating place built up over there and lots of like Christmas trees, lights, uh, markets like for food and stuff you can buy. It's very very beautiful. People literally coming from other cities. So yeah, I feel like in Bournemouth it's like a lot of going on. If I forgot something, I'm just going to leave all the things on the screen so you can see. I feel like you can still hear from my voice that I'm a little bit sick because like I said, I think I got this bad cold. Anyways, now I'm just getting ready because I'm gonna go to meet with my friend Eleanor and we're gonna go to Italian Gardens. It's like about 10 minutes drive from where I live. It's quite close to Bournemouth Center. I have been there before uh, one time and it's very beautiful. It has like palm trees and all these like different gardens, Italian, Chinese gardens. So yeah, it's very, very nice. Say hi to my vlog. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so before the gardens, we decided to quickly go to Primark. Maybe we're gonna buy something, I don't know. Put on this jacket. Wait, show us for my vlog. 
I look like a grandma. No, you don't look like a grandma. You look nice. She mm -hmm. looks like a nice black dress. Yeah, you look nice. So we in Primark now. Eleanor got this bow. You gonna buy? It's gonna look nice for your hair. Thank you. I'm thinking about this one as well. So you pick this one. This one. This one. It's a lot of stuff. This out and the shirt. This jacket. I picked up loads of like tops because I have at home loads of bottoms. I don't know if I like this one. I need to try this one. Okay. How is your pizza? <laughs> Good. Also, she got a new hair clip. Yeah, I like this one. It looks nice. And pizza from Greg's. That's what we always get. It's like two pounds pizza. We did a shopping in Primark. I spent way too much money. 86 pounds. How much did you say you spent? Hmm? How much did you say you paid? 30 something, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 33 pounds. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to Italian gardens. Still cloudy. It showed it should be sunny today and 17 degrees, but it feels actually quite chilly. I think now it's like 15 degrees. Yeah, a little bit cold and doesn't look like the sun is going to come out. It's very very cloudy. So I can't even take my jacket off. Ten minutes drive. So this is the beach. And maybe there is parking inside. I mean, it should be. I don't know. I've never been with a car. I mean, the, look, there is cars going, so maybe there is parking. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if you need to pay or you don't need to pay. And the thing is, there is more on the left. Okay. This is beautiful. Yeah. I think you can buy these flowers. Yeah, you can buy. Wow, they have so many. It's like a flower market. Look, there is so many things you can buy. Wow. This is like for your garden. Some mushrooms. These are cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think here. Everything for garden. Yeah, yeah. This is everything for garden. Mm. Oh, it's another shop. Wow, this is big. Look at these umbrellas. I think this is where you have to pay for the garden. So it wasn't there, the tickets. You have to buy over here. Okay. One more. Yes. Yes. I wish it was sunny yes. so it would feel more like you know the vibe <laughs> <laughs> yeah because this is like Italian gardens you know yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't feel like it because it's just so cold should we go this way or that way? no it's closed you can't go there that's where we came from so, this is the Roman garden. <laughs> I told you it's nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's very nice. Look at this, it's like a, like a castle. It's like a fairy tale.
So what do you think so far about this garden? I don't know. It's just beautiful. <laughs> so here is some palm trees. Beautiful flowers. Look at these. Is this called tulips? tulips. Yellow. Very nice. Oh wow, they have some more colors. I love this one. Purple? Yes. Yeah, I love these. I don't think I'm gonna be able to smell anything because my nose is sleeping. Just smell it for the video. <laughs> Act like you kind of smell. <laughs> it's very cold, but Eleanor just undressed for the videos and pictures. <laughs> she said she said she would do anything for the pictures. Waterfall? Yeah, waterfall. It comes all the way from there. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and look, it's still going down here. Would you like to sit down? No. I just want yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can go over there as well. Do you want to go that way? Or? Yeah, we're gonna go there. This is looks like a... Um, what is it called? Um, I don't know in English. For the frogs. I'm wearing sunglasses. I don't think I'm gonna need them today, to be honest. Because the sun is not out. But actually it's good to hold my hair. This tree is full of flowers. Very, very beautiful. They are so big. The rock and water garden. Wow, this is beautiful. Look, there is some fish. Some, there is some fish in the water. Yeah, here, yeah, look. I don't know if there is any more fish. Can't really see anymore. Maybe there is just two. So we just following this map, but he's still I'm not really sure, are we? <laughs> yeah. Eleanor is very good um, navigating the maps, are you? No, you are the best because... <laughs> I know, I, I said it as a, so as a joke. So we are here, look. <laughs> look sure. Yeah. Here. Exaggerate. This map is like for the kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, it should be a toilet somewhere, but it looks closed. But the lady at the receptionist... Re receptionist? Yeah. <laughs> Reception. <laughs> she said... There is some toilet, so it should be maybe there. So she changed into this dress. How are you not cold? <laughs> You're just walking without a jacket. It's I like 15 know. degrees. Maybe, maybe I got used to it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. At, at first I was, it was cold, but now it's fine. Yeah. So now we are going to Japanese garden. Now I think there is another garden before. Japanese yeah, need, need, need to check the map again. Yeah. I don't know what are these gardens over here. I just realized I wasn't even filming. Oh, when <laughs> now you were talking. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I just talk for like a minute and then I realize I'm not even filming. Okay. Anyways, this um, massive head. You're talking with a camera before you're talking to me. <laughs> it's very, very peaceful here. Mm. Quiet. These are bamboo trees. This is like a Buddha place. Yeah. Like a small house. 
Look what's inside? So yeah. What's inside? But I don't think just chairs. It's enough. That building over there is very nice. I think you can walk here. Yeah, so you can go from there and walk around here. Walk all the way around there. I love this building, it's so beautiful. I think there is like a small waterfall. Yeah, very beautiful. So you can go these steps. Look, Look at the Look fish. The fish. Wow. I feel like it's definitely worth the money. It's like nine pounds ninety-five for uh, adult. At, at first, when I paid, I was like, oh, nine. It's almost it was ten pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, ten pounds for a garden. Then when I come here, oh, <laughs> it's, it's worth, worth it. it. <laughs> yeah. Look at this tree. It looks like yeah. autumn now. Yeah. Like the colors, it looks like it's like autumn. So this vlog where I'm filming, I'm filming why I love living in Bournemouth. I started filming yesterday. Yes, you live here the since when? Since 2019. 19. Yeah. Okay. To be like the most important thing yeah. I love Bournemouth is because it's quiet. Mm -hmm. There's not much people. Mm -hmm. Like. I don't like busy places. It gets busy sometimes in but, summer. In the yeah, beach. but it's a few days. Mm. It's just like a month hot or days, two months. But other than that time, it's so quiet. Do you think this is your life, your main thing? Because you can go to any small town, it's going to be quiet. Mm. They have, like, is there something else, you know? There you are most before. of things as well. Yeah. Like, because it's the beach. Yeah. We have the beach, we have gardens, mm -hmm. it's not busy. Mm -hmm. um, people are more different from other places. I forgot to tell actually yeah. when I was uh, talking to my vlog this morning why I love Bournemouth because there is lots of people from like different countries, yeah. like diversity, what's called like diversity. Yeah. I think it's the same in London, but here, I don't know, just people are quite nice. Yeah. Because I have been you as well you lived north and i lived north and i don't know yeah. i didn't like it that it wasn't no. the same like here people are nicer like that was the two years the two years i i lived in uh, manchester mm -hmm. that was the worst the worst years of my life a lot of things better in here but yeah and also uh, there's lots of places to go like yeah. i said already mentioned new forest uh, yeah. farms like pick your own strawberries there's lots of places to go with a car but, it's not too far go to like any place parks are different as well mm -hmm. it's more nicer i haven't been on a boat we should go no. on a boat from pool so to swanage yeah. we could go and there is a very small boat but we can take from uh, mud for beach to creatures yeah there are many there places, is many places that you have like I've lived so yeah. long, but there are many more places to visit. One negative, not negative, mm -hmm. but um, you can't find as much uh, different kind of foods in here. Mm -hmm. Like in Manchester and London, mm -hmm. there are many restaurants and everything, but yeah. many from many cultures, different countries, mm -hmm. uh, food you can try. Mm. There is some uh, European shops. It is, but, but not as, as much as there. Because it's a smaller town, like, yeah. of course, there's like shops and restaurants, but it's not, of course, the same yeah. as like in London, Manchester or somewhere in the city. Like I was talking once with my husband and I said, where would you choose to live if you had the chance to anywhere. live anywhere? Mm. And we both chose here, here, Bournemouth. Me too. Yeah. Because I moved away and then I came back because I realized yeah, you moved a lot. <laughs> yeah, I moved a lot, but this place is like the best. Because I think this is also the nicest seaside yeah. town in the whole UK. Because yeah. I've been to Scotland, I've been to Wales. Yeah, but this is like the nicest beach and like yeah. everything. Don't come here. 
We don't want to. We don't want her to get busy. Uh, more people to move in, and I forgot to mention there is some um, air air festival going on in September. You know the air show. Yeah. Yeah. It's September. Yeah, it's every it's every September. The I beginning it's of August. September. Huh? August. Is no, it August? Uh, the beginning of September. I don't know which oh. days, but beginning of September. Hello. Hello. Hi guys, so it's the next day. I'm here with my friend Eleanor. Hello. We just came to Hexbury Head and next to visitor center. So you can park here for free if you can find any space, but usually you can find some space. And we're gonna walk to Mudford Beach. It's about like 20 or so minutes walk like through the nice forest. Eleanor said she's never been, but maybe you have been. Um maybe yeah because i can't remember the names when i get there i will tell you okay if i was there or not okay yeah, yeah so we just gonna go there take some pictures i got some tea in my bag <laughs> I got some so yeah fruit. we got some so. snacks and today's very nice day it's like 17 degrees but on the sun it's probably gonna be like 20 something yeah, yeah it just feels like very nice spring day definitely nicer than yesterday yeah yesterday was so cold we just parked up over here this is the free parking there is the hexbury head there is like a rocky beach over there and now we're just gonna walk straight all the way to mudford beach so you can take this train to go to mudford beach from visitor center now we are walking to this kind of like forest. It's very quiet here and very peaceful. So this is the mud for beach. It's still left like five minutes walk, but you can see all the beach huts. This is this train where it goes from mud for beach and these are the prices okay so this is how it looks like so on one side it looks just like a lake there is lots of boats and you can take a boat and go to Christchurch and on the other side there is more beach huts and like a sandy beach as well and there is the sea Now we are on the other side and there is the beach just over those cliffs. Very very quiet here. Eleanor said she's not really impressed with this place. Not much. I, 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 I don't want to lie. <laughs> we just found this nice beach hut so I want to take pictures sitting on this bench this is my outfit for today i'm not gonna say where it's from because it's gonna be again primer primer <laughs> no actually these glasses is from shane mm -hmm. slippers as well these shorts my sister got it for me so i don't know where it's from and the shirt is from primark so today actually i got only one thing from primark no two things the bag is from primark eleanor got her fruit salad wait do you like these what these are called? These red ones, small ones. Uh, Pomegranate. Pomegranate. So now we are going home. This is very cute beach hut. Now we're just coming back the same way where we came from through this forest and now we're just gonna go home so i'm going to end this video here thank you guys for watching and bye bye